With about 18,000 species discovered per year, these are some of the species described by science in 2023 that got our attention. Because they're all so new, many of them don't even have a common name yet. Welcome back to All About Nature. On my channel, I try to bring nature-related content that's both educational and entertaining. If you like this kind of content, then please consider liking the video, leaving a comment, or even subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Discovered during bat surveys in peninsular Thailand and Malaysia, this species of roundleaf bat has a different nose structure from similar species and a different pitch of vocalization. It has been observed in Thailand, the mainland of Malaysia, and the northern part of Borneo, though it likely occurs widely on the island of Borneo. Researchers also think that it may occur on the island of Palawan in the Philippines. Five new species of snail-eating snakes were described from surveys in Panama and Colombia. This tree-dwelling species was named in honor of the actor Leonardo DiCaprio, thanks to his extensive work in bringing awareness to conservation. The species is known from 16 localities in Panama and Colombia. One of the localities is at a much higher elevation and has a different scale pattern. After genetic research is complete, it may turn out to be yet a new species. On the eastern slopes of the Ecuadorian Andes, a new species of stream frog was discovered. This species of stream frog has only ever been found once, and it was enough for researchers to name it as a new species due to its unique coloration, which is unlike any other species of stream frog. Its species name, Tolkieni, is in honor of the author J.R.R. Tolkien, as its color evokes the magnificent creatures that seem to only exist in fantasy worlds. In the tiny country of Timor-Leste, the first ever species of bent-toed gecko has been described. Researchers saw the geckos during the day in the Lenehara Cave in Ninokoni Santana National Park, but they were unable to catch them as they were very skittish. They returned at night and managed to catch ten, eventually describing the new species. Gymnures are mammals closely related to hedgehogs. They're also called hairy hedgehogs, or moon rats. This species was described from the mountains of eastern Mindanao, where no scientific survey for mammals had ever been done before. It was given the epithet intermedia because its size falls in the middle of the species within its genus. Discovered in the northeastern Indian state of Mizoram, the Mizoram parachute gecko is one of now 14 known species of parachute gecko. It was discovered in trees close to human dwellings. Parachute geckos have enlarged skin flaps that allow them to camouflage against trees or glide between them. This new species of orb weaver was found in Tasmania, other similar specimens are in museum collections and were collected in southeastern Australia, so the species may have quite a wide range. Unlike other orb weavers that hide in a leaf in their web, this species constructs its own hideout from silk and is morphologically different enough to not just be a new species, but represent a whole new genus. The spider makes its web every night, then dismantles it during the day. It was named after Tom Hardy, the actor who plays Venom in the Marvel franchise. This species of pygmy squid was named after Kodama, a tree spirit from Japanese folklore, and Jujitsu, the martial art that involves maneuvering your opponent into submission, similar to the squid's hunting technique. The species lives close to the shoreline of Okinawa, where it inhabits coral reefs and seagrass beds, where it hunts shrimp. 
the Ngoklin crocodile newt was described in July of this year from the central highlands of Vietnam. It's only 6 centimeters long without the tail, and represents the 39th known species of crocodile newt. Its Latin name literally means lumpy merman from the Ngoc Linh, and it's distinguished from other species by its coloration and the arrangement of its glandular warts. This new species of palm from Borneo went undetected for a long time for several reasons. For one, it's quite small, but also it has no visible fruit or flower. It was discovered that this species of palm produces both its fruit and flowers underground. How it gets pollinated is still a mystery. The main distributor of the seeds is the bearded pig, which loves to dig up the palm's bright red fruit. Vampire wasps are known for their parasitic reproductive behavior. The females lay their eggs on invertebrates like spiders and caterpillars. Once they hatch, they feed on their host while it's still alive. Near Iquitos, Peru, a new species was described this year that looks interesting. It almost seems to be smiling. Its Latin name means big-headed joppa of the Amazon. Paleontologists dug up some abelosaur fossils this year in Morocco. They dated to 66 million years ago, just before the asteroid impact that ended the reign of the dinosaurs. At first, they believed the dinosaur to be a juvenile Chinanosaurus, as the species was known to inhabit the region at that time. But after closer examination, they realized the fossil had markings of fully developed adult bones. It turned out that they had the fossils of not just one, but two new species of abelosaur dinosaurs. This small species of anemone is from the Gulf of Mexico. It's quite small and hides in the crevices of rocks. Interestingly, this species has been known about by divers and aquarists for decades, but it lacked any formal description or taxonomic classification. This year, it was given the Latin name of Balactic Lux, and the species has finally been formally described. Nautilus are some of the earliest animals from the fossil record, with species known from as much as 500 million years ago. They are the only living cephalopods with an externalized bony structure. Before this year, four species were known, but in 2023, scientists nearly doubled the number of known species when they described three new species found off the coasts of three different islands in the South Pacific, Vanuatu, American Samoa, and Viti Levu, Fiji. Because nautilus are prized for their shells, the new species may already be in danger of extinction from overtrapping. This year, a new species of giant crab spider, also known as huntsman, was described in the northern Amazon of Ecuador. This huge red spider is similar to some giant crab spiders found in Peru, but can be distinguished by its reproductive system. These rust-colored spiders don't spin webs, but rather wait in the underbrush for prey to pass by. When the tide split open some boulders in the Moraki Formation of New Zealand, scientists were surprised to find a new species of ancient giant penguin. Another species in the genus Kumimanu had been named in late 2017, but this was a new species. Kumimanu fordisei is the largest known species of extinct penguin, likely weighing up to 160 kilograms and standing 1.6 meters tall. They probably had very similar lifestyles to modern penguins, though they were able to consume much larger prey. This species of catfish was described this year from Kerala, India. It's air-breathing and subterranean, living in underground water channels and wells. But what really makes it unique 
is its lack of eyes and its red coloration. Scientists believe that the diversity of subterranean species is highly underestimated and many more species are waiting to be found. Skinax tree frogs are among the most diverse clades of neotropical amphibians with nearly 130 recognized species. In the Amazonian lowlands of central Peru, this new species was described off of only two males that were collected. They have cryptic coloration with bright orange blotches and spots on their groins, posterior surface of the thighs, and shanks. They differ from other Skinax tree frogs by having a more rounded head that lacks the proboscis other species have. Their habitat is currently threatened by wildfires, and its Latin name means groins of fire. Harrison Ford's slender snake was discovered in Otishi National Park in the Peruvian highlands. Only one was found, and it was named after the actor to honor his environmental advocacy. The specimen that was found measured just over 40 centimeters in length and was a pale yellow color with black stripes. Harrison Ford also has a spider and an ant named after him. Basilosaurids are a family of extinct cetacean, unlike any living marine mammal today. They had serpentine bodies and small hind limbs. A new species was described in Peru this year that was particularly unique. It was described off of 18 fossilized bones, mostly vertebrae and ribs, and scientists noticed that the bones were particularly dense. They believed that this new species likely relied on being heavier in order to remain underwater much like a manatee or dugong. Scientists estimate that it weighed at least 85 tons, making it heavier than any terrestrial animal that has ever lived. They also estimate that it could have weighed as much as 340 tons, making it twice the weight of the blue whale and the heaviest known animal to have ever existed. The Yupti China butterflies are found primarily in the lowlands of tropical North and South America. The majority of the species are hard to distinguish, with most having brown wings and yellow spots on their underwings. They're one of the hardest groups of butterflies to classify, as they're all so similar. As genetic testing has improved, scientists have finally been able to sort the different species out. This year, a new genus was established, named after the J.R.R. Tolkien villain, Sauron. Two species have been placed into the Saurona genus, but scientists believe that there are likely many more to be described. There were eight known species of pangolin, but this year, scientists have discovered a ninth species. Pangolins are among the most trafficked animals on Earth. Their scales and claws are used in China for traditional medicine. Over the past few years, researchers have been identifying seized animals genetically to see which species are being targeted. They were surprised when a set of 27 scales and claws showed significant genetic differences from the existing known species. Given the name Manis Mysteria, this species is of unknown origin though it's most closely related to the Asian pangolins, and is believed to be from Southeast Asia. It's likely nearly physically identical to other species, explaining why it hasn't been described until now. Ladies' tresses orchids are a common sight around Tokyo. These flowers have long, spiraled flower stalks that look like flowing locks of hair, but researchers noticed that some flowered a month earlier than others. They took a closer look at the floral structure and examined their DNA and realized that what they all assumed to be one species of orchid was actually two very similar species. The Hachijajima ladies' tresses orchid is less abundant, but still common throughout the city.
firefish, or dartfish are stunningly colored tropical marine fish that are commonly kept in the home aquarium. While the genus is small, the species are well known. In 2023, researchers noticed that some fish in museum collections that were labeled as Helfrich's firefish were slightly different. Their heads were mostly yellow, with a distinct purple marking above the eyes and on top of the head. Genetic research was performed, and it was described as a new species. Recently, a lot of new gecko species have been described. When researchers visited Scafell Island, a small tropical island about 30 kilometers off the coast of Queensland, Australia, they were surprised to find a rather large new species of leaf-tailed gecko. Measuring about 15 centimeters long, this species has long, slender toes for gripping the rocks that they live on. They only have a suitable range of about 1.3 square kilometers, which means that the species is already at risk of extinction. And that's it for today's video. Have you heard of any other species that were described this year? Let me know what I missed in the comments below. I need to say a special thanks to my patrons. Without their support, I wouldn't be here. And if you'd like to join me on Patreon to get early access to my videos and a say in what content I make next, then check out the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.